We got it. We got the box finally. Box of footy stars select 2023. This camera's a bit laggy, but it is what it is. All right, all right. Let's open. We'll get straight into it. I bought this on Amazon through the select Amazon. Um, free shipping, 105 bucks. I'm not really a fan of most of the cards in the set. I don't like the Iconics compared to Virtuosos. I don't like the the mascots, the footy mascots. I think they're a bit dumb, but is what it is. There's still some decent cards in here. I'm more excited for the later sets that the year. All right, there it is. Looks much better without the plastic on. All right, box of footy stars, 2023. Instant win prizes, interesting. Three bucks a pack. Bought this whole entire thing for 105. I think we should get straight into it, all right? All righty, Roo. Got the footy on in the background. You won't be able to hear it because I'll get copy written. Let's open it like this. Just like retail. There we go. There it is. All in there. Oh my goodness, laggy camera. Alright, so I reckon I'll just get him out. A lot of bloody packs. Alright, there they are. 36 of them. This might go for a while. I'm not going to rush through them. I'm going to look at all numbers if numbers are on the cards. And first pack signifies the pack opening. So let's have a look. I do have scissors behind here to make it much easier to open as well. Okay, first packet. Here we go. I'm gonna show the first set of commons. All right, we got Warner, Durham, that one, and there's our first rare. We got a. Sicily parallel. Bit boring. I think I could have done a little bit more, but whatever. It's every one and every two packs. There's all the comments. What I think I'll do is I'll also show. Here's all the numbers. You won't be able to see because of the focus and everything on here. If I can maybe get it. No, you won't be able to. So, common parallels are one in every two packs. Mascots is one in every six. Essential, one in every six. Milestone, one in every nine. Classified, one in every 36. Numbers, one in every 36. Brownlow predictors, one in every 72. So, there's half a chance we'll get it in these. Common predictor, one in every 360. So, chances are slim. Premiership Predictor, 360. Rising Star Predictor, 360. Iconics, which are the Virtuosos for this season. Uh, one every 432, so that's like a whole case, so no way. And Instant Win, one in every 1,296 packs, which is almost impossible. Jeez Louise, knock the camera down. Oh my god. Ignore that. There we go. All right, first pack wasn't great, so it does not uh, give us a good indication of what's going on. All right, here we go. Yaf, this person, Mimi. 
Dacos. We've got our first mascot, Caleb Sarong. Come on. There we go. Caleb Sarong. Mmm. Don't like them cards. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. I guess it's for kids though, isn't it? So. What can you do? That's why they bring out so much sets during the year. I think the hobby is, as myself, wait for the prestiges and all that. Oh, I've messed it up. But there's your Dylan Grimes. Parallel. Come on, let's focus. There we go. I'm not going to be showing the commons anymore. Commons are like... If you really want to see commons, go on eBay and search up and you can find them for five cents each. Alright, here we go. And we have a another parallel. Ben King. The shine on them looks nice in my lighting in this room, but it's nothing to it's nothing really special. Like, it's the exact same as a common, but it's shiny. I think they could have made it, like, gold or something. Our team coach do it. Alright, this one. What do we got? We have another parallel. We got the Josh Dacos. Josh. Hmm. So far, so nothing. Which is fine. We've opened up about five. One in every two. I don't know about that, though. It's probably one in every one and a half at this stage. All right. Oh, starts off with Zorko, the grub. I'm not a fan. We've got our first essential, a Harry Mackay, Coleman medalist. Mm, I like the essential cards much better, but I think they could have just used the essential cards for the parallels and made different designs for essentials, but... Whatever. Probably production cost is higher on all the special cards as well. But at least we saw something different. Alright, here we go. We have... We got an AFL Classified. It is a... Angus Brayshaw, number 70. Of 365? Yeah. Focus up on that. So that is our 1 in 36 packets. Angus Brayshaw. Apparently he's the 14th best in the AFL, which I would beg to differ. Um, but I don't know how they use the rating. It looks like it's a bit messy, the card itself as well. It's got, like, silver grime on it. Oh, well, I'll pop it up here so you can see it throughout. At least we've got something. Alright, we go through, we go through, and we've got another mascot, Joe Danaher. Have a look at that bloke. I ain't never seen a goofier bloke than that bloke. I will be putting in all the commons aside and keeping them to fill up my book booklet thing. Do it with every set that we get. And then I try to keep the prestige ones, but it's harder to get a full set of prestige. I did see the parallel. It is, I'm going to guess what team. I'm going to say Sydney. Oh, Brad Crouch from the Sainters. Mm. 
How long have we been live for so far? 10 minutes of opening cards and we're... No, almost halfway through maybe. We have, looks like a mascot or essentials. Essentials, Andrew Brayshaw. Another Brayshaw. That's a good looking card. I love that purple. Have a look at that. Lovely card. Shame it's worth pennies. I really think Essentials could have been expensive if they didn't make them so common. So that's why I thought they should have gone the full length and just made them their parallel equivalent. Alright, what do we got? So we start off with Tom Green. We go to the parallel. A Jeremy Cameron, arguably the most influential player in the AFL right now, I'd say. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try and focus every uh, main pool that we get in these ones because camera likes focusing like here but not on the cards so I have muted the desktop audio so you won't be able to hear the footy on in the background so far, St. Kilda are killing the Bulldogs. Alright, we have a parallel. I reckon it's going to be from the Suns. Buddy Franklin. The big budster. Cooling off a little. I'm hoping to get a predictor of some kind. And uh, last year, I pulled the Crips predictor on stream, platinum, because it was a wild card, and I sold it. I sold it. Can you believe that? Alright, here we go. This looks different. I think this is a numbers. All right, let's hope for something. Um, hoping for a port because, of course, but it is number 11, 12. Tom DeConing, Carlton. And we got our checklist card as well. I don't really know what the point of the checklist cards are. But now that we've got a Tom DeConing, it... Uh, numbers and a classified. It seems like we won't get any uh, big hits, which is a bit sad. Number a hundred of two hundred fifty-five. That's a decent number, to be fair. Hundred and Carlton cards. People love them. See, so we'll go for maybe fifteen bucks. Hop in the background there. All right, all right. Come on, big pulls. I don't know the odds. If I've pulled both of these already, I don't know if you can get another big pull. It's just a warning. You don't want to stick around to see nothing. We have a another parallel. There it is. Haley. Haley Miller. As soon as the stream ends, I probably will be sitting here for another 30 minutes sorting out all the comments into the the folder. And I don't know if it's just me this year, but it's really hard to open the packs up by hand. I've tried it before. I've bought a couple starter packs before the box. Here we go. We have... Um... There we go. There's our essential. Big Nick Nat. Nick Nat Nui. I'm not sure if he's playing this year, to be fair. I think he might be still be injured. 
All right, how much we got left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We got about 22 left. Average, I didn't count. Exact. So that means we're about almost halfway. And we've pulled two of the th one and 36s, so we still got a long way to go. Taylor Hanks. I won't lie when I tell you I've never heard of her. Okay, okay. We have... It is... Um, Essentials. Ollie Wines. That's what we like to see. Have a look at that. 2021 Brownlow Medalist. Deserved Brownlow Medalist. Good for my personal, not for the common public. Feel a parallel coming up. Here we go. Bam. Chera. Adam Chera. You know what? I feel another parallel coming up, you know? I feel it. Parallel coming up. Here we go. I think I was wrong. I think we have a mascot. Papley, apparently he's rated 92 in AFL 23. I think he must have paid off someone for that. This bloke is not 92 rated. More like 86. Not even, maybe. He pops up every now and then. Yeah, I still don't like the mascot cards. I think they're a bit kid-like, but... These are for kids, they're not for adults. Especially the base set. Parallel. Is that Josh Kelly? I ain't bothering focusing for the parallels anymore because no one really cares about looking at a shiny card compared to the others, so. Sorry if you really want to see the parallels nice and closely. We have a, I think this is a milestone, AFL milestone, Jaden Hunt, 100 games. Well done, son. Have a look at that. I opened up a starter pack for the other day and I've got two AFL milestones, which is pretty good. Um, I'll put it up here, right to the side. Nothing decent of yet. I I really want to put something decent for content as well because it's good to pull something just when you're opening cards by yourself. For, for content, you want to pull a massive hit and then like, I pulled a one of this blah blah blah. Tim English parallel. Look at that lanky looking bloke. Case hit, iconic, something like that. Or... Brownlow Predictor, Bontempelli. See, if I pull nothing from this, I don't know what I'll call it. Probably like... 100. Number 100, what are the chances? Something like that. Cheese it. Oh my goodness, we have a Brownlow Predictor. 2023 Patrick Dangerfield Brownlow Predictor. I tell you right now that this ain't happening. He ain't getting the Brownlow. He's just regressing. But at least we got one. And Cats fans, surely you'll pay a bit for that. I will not hold on to it because I don't really rate him. But... And then we got a Dan Houston uh, parallel behind it. Which I thought he played very poor today. Day. We got thumped by Collingwood. 
Well, that's that's not bad. Those three. Patrick Dangerfield Brownlow predictor. Didn't make money off from the box, but it's hard to with these footy stars unless you pull a case hit iconic or something like that. We have another milestone. I think it's a gold. No, it's a bronze. It is a Brody Meyer check. He torched us today. 100 games. Well done, buddy. At least we pulled a big hit. Would have rather a wild card of the team, Cats, because I think they're just regressing. They're a bit old now. That one. Paddy Dangerfield is past his heyday, is all i got to say. I don't know odds-wise if, if it's even possible for me to pull something else. Decent. Is that a bloke or a... I think it's a girl. Nina. Because I ain't seen her in the AFL, but... Okay. Won't comment on nothing. Too late. Come on. Adam Chera. And we get a Rocky Balboa, Andrew Gaff. I think my stream cut out, which is not fun with my crutchy internet. Thankfully, the, re oh, the recording doesn't stop when I disconnect. It just keeps on going. Get notifications on my phone. All right, oops, left a bloke in there. I feel parallel coming up. It's a milestone, 150 games, Isaac Heaney. Heaney! Feel bad for the bloke, he's gonna be known for that for the rest of his life. The Heaney. Oh, look at that, he's right behind it as well. Great, I lost my only viewer when my stream disconnected. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. We have another milestone 250. Well done, Callan Ward. Look at that. It's a good looking card. I won't lie to you. I like these looks of AFL milestones this year. Okay, how much we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Chances still me pull anything else. But you never know. I don't know if in these boxes they have like a limit of what they put in there of good cards. I assume so. Like, I've run up my luck, so everyone gets a fair share of everything, so you don't pull a box and you get, like, one numbers, and that's it. Which makes sense. Alright, we have a Essentials. Look at that. CJ. I don't know how to say his actual name. Yeah. That's his last name. Chang Kao Jia. Who's ready to see a parallel? It is Luke McDonald. Parallel. Luke McDonald. One, two, three, four. Four left. Four more left. We 
in small interruption. That's what having a family's like. We don't hate it. All right, we got a mascot, I presume. Oh, it's Rocky Balboa again. He's back for more. Oos, oos. It's a bit sad. That's that's all he's know, been known for for the rest of his footy career is for uh, knocking a jaw's guy, uh, knocking a guy's jaw in. What do we got? We got a Timmy English Essentials. Slender Man's back for more. All right, two more packs. This is the last pack. The God Pack, we'll pop that there. Because I've said that, it will be a parallel now. If you want a game to play, take a shot every single time I say parallel. Uh, Georgia G. Alright. Last pack. It's either... I predict it to be a mascot. And it's going to be a goofy looking dude. Okay, I'll count the wheel. We'll say the players out loud for this one. Alright. So I think it's four to the front. One, two, three, four to the front. Alright. Isaac Smith. Dion Prestia. The Batman. Brownlee medalist Nat Five, Chad Wingard, Georgia G's back for more, Goofy Joe Danaher, Isaac coming, and what is it? So we have, oh, I see a Travis Boke. It is a mascot. Mascots Travis Boke. They just do look a bit goofy, don't they? Well, that's it. That's what we pulled. Can I complain? Not really, because we did get that Brownlow predictor. I think it's one, the Brownlow predictors is one in every 72 packs, so it's not that great, to be honest. We could have gotten something better. One in every two boxes, that would be. Alright, so we'll re just do a recap. I don't want to recap all the parallels, because they're boring as, so I'll just pop those aside quickly. Uh... Mm -mm. There's a lot of reoccurring players in this. Got a lot of the same. I'm not talking about same cards, same players in different cards. At least with every single pack, you know you're going to get something that's of high value to the rest. But find a single pack and get in the parallel, it can't be a good feeling. Alright. So, we'll go from what front to the back. So we got a Travis Boak, Mascots, Essentials Tim English, Andrew Gaff Mascot, CJ Essentials, a Milestone Jane Hunt. This bloke, <laughs> I mean, her. Brody Marchek, Papley, Holly Wines, Nick Nat, Joe Danaher, Harry Mackay, Caleb Sarong, and his teammate Andy Brayshaw. And now, what I've been leaving the whole entire time, the number of the Brownlow Predictor. This defies if it's expensive or 30 bucks. All right, are you ready? It is number 226 of 260, so it's nothing special. Nothing special at all. So, there's that. I'll show off these ones. Oh, forgot two blokes. The Callum Ward and the Isaac Heaney. Both there. 
These are our hits for the box. So we got the Tom de Koning number 12. We've got the AFL Classified, Andy Brayshaw. Apparently 14 in the AFL. Not sure if I believe that. And... No, it's not Andy Brayshaw. It's Angus Brayshaw. If it was Andy Brayshaw, then he might be the 14th best in the AFL. And then we got Paddy Dangerfield. Past Brownlee winner. Probably not a future one, so... Unfortunate, but Cats fans love him, and that's all that matters, isn't it? There we go. Well, that was semi-successful. I'm not sure if I'll make money off that box. It's not really about the money, is it? It's about the, it's about the hobby. It's about the love of the game. So I might not buy another box unless, I don't know, I can sell these for a small little margin and then I might take the hit and just buy another box and open it on stream again. Because I don't know what I'll call this Brandlow winner, Brandlow predictor pool or something like that. Alright. Well there we are. Just show them off again. They're all not very influential numbers, except this one is a hundred. I'm not sure if that will hold some value to someone, but there we go. The three from this box. Wants to focus. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be sitting here for the next 30 minutes sorting them out and making my whole entire set like this bad boy here. I might even show that while I'm on stream. I have oh, sorted this out. It is like 3 kilos. So here's the front page of all my big pulls from there. I'll put all the port at the front. And we got the checklists and all that. What the heck? Why is that not in there? And you've got all the bursts, the game breakers, and then you go into your teams. So I'll do that with this set. Uh, so far, I'm liking last year's set more than this year's set, to be honest. I just love the Virtuosos. I've got a whole entire heap of port ones. And I pulled one in my last stream last year. Jane Stevenson, and that was pretty cool, so, alright, well, I'll leave it at that, thank you for watching, if you did, I'll post it and clip it up, make it look nice for TikTok and YouTube, uh, 30 minute video, that's fine, alright, thanks for watching, I might be back future with another one. Or a different set if it comes out with Prestige 2023. Alright? Chillin'. Have a good one.